experiencia con Raymond eh, para nosotros ha sido muy productiva. Eh, llevamos, eh, llevo organizando conjuntamente con ustedes unos 8 a 10 años más o menos. Eh, siempre con <coughs> eh, resultados buenos, gratificantes para nuestra gente. Para nosotros eh, es una experiencia el poder compartir con el equipo de Rainbow que llega, no solo por los conocimientos que podemos eh, recibir y compartir, sino por eh, la, compartir eh, amistad y hacer... Eh, creo que es muy provechoso, tanto eh, para Rainbow en general y más para nuestros pacientes, eh, quienes son beneficiarios directos de todo lo, lo que hacemos en los jornales. journey of how we got to Ecuador. You just don't show up at the airport and everything's there. Uh, there's a lot of legwork packing of the 35 plus, what I call, off the military bags, full of medical equipment. You have to weigh it, and all the bags can't weigh more than 50 pounds. Uh, and there's, there's the packy bags, there's the anesthesia bags, and then there's the regular sur OR surgery bags. Um, so that's a process. And then of course there's the work of, we're going to, to see children, but, but how are we going to entertain the children? We reach out to different members of our community. I, I work at a high school. My students um, participated in, in helping make blankets. All the things that lead up to these seven days, in this case being in Cuenca, Ecuador, started months ago. It's a global effort. Uh, the, the people who came on this trip are from all parts of the world. My name is Bob Hoffman. I've been um, an orthopedic surgeon in the Bay Area my whole career. As I've had more experience with Operation Rainbow, it's really changed my perspective on international medicine and international orthopedics. One of the things that I think is most rewarding for any surgeon is that smile on a parent's face when you fixed a child's dislocated hip. Um, the local staff and the local doctors who we work with on these missions are also very grateful for our help. And uh, one of the things that we like to do, it's not possible on every mission, but we like to teach, we like to involve some of the local surgeons and give them some newer techniques or some advice on how to do certain cases in a perhaps more up-to-date or more efficient way. One thing that I, I really can't emphasize enough is the importance of um, local support and, um, and help in financing these missions. Uh, there's a lot of tremendous interest amongst personnel to come on these missions and people are very enthusiastic and I think um, the desire to do more international work is really increasing but we need the funds to support it and I would encourage anybody associated with um, fundraising organizations um, that uh, could be very helpful in helping to support Operation Rainbow. My name is Amy. I'm a pediatric ICU nurse. I live in Southern California. I do Operation Rainbow because these surgeries make a difference in their lives. They can go to school, they can get a job, they can help their family. They don't rely on their family to have to carry them. Clinic day is the most fun, but it's also the most challenging day. So before we arrive, we make contact with the hospitals and the local doctors at site, and they put out the word through the village or the town, wherever we're going. Everyone know that we're gonna be coming, and if that you have any orthopedic problem, that you can come and be seen by our team and be evaluated for surgery. People come from hours and hours away to be seen by our team. 
So you get evaluated by our doctors. If we determine that it's safe for you to have surgery, then you get put on the list of surgical candidates. So we see anywhere from 200 to 500 patients in one day, and we see everyone, and we don't leave until everyone is seen. And we do any babies, little four-month-old babies, all the way up to 60-year-old adults. So we take care of a, a big population of people. My name is Patty Harrison. I am actually the director of about 15 surgery centers in California. Here, I am an operating room nurse, and I do this for the kids, and I do it for my kids so that they can see that I care and give back, and I want them to do the same someday. The kids are incredible. Um, they have a greater sense of resilience. They are very stoic. They're super brave and they're just so happy. They're just so happy to be alive and to be here and to have all the care that, that we give them. So it's, it's really fun to be around kids. They're not timid by us. And, and, and I can't imagine being a three-year-old with a completely foreign medical team, speaking a completely different language, um, and just being okay with that and letting us do our thing and take care of them. That's pretty incredible and then to see them with their family afterwards. That's pretty great too. One of the things that really amazes me about the group is uh, they come in as just a kind of a ragtag group of people and you realize that they're all very good professionals. They, they all, all do this work you know, out of the goodness of their heart and they're such incredible professionals, but they're just an organized team. Everybody knows exactly what they need to do, and it's like an orchestra. You know, see all the, the violinists come in with their violins and the tubas and the French horns, and you get them all together, and it's an amazing orchestra. It's a symphony.